What is going on, you guys? It is your boy, Omsi here. Schmitty right there. We are back. Episode 7 of Fire Force Season 2, Road to the Oasis. Everybody is going on the big-ass Fire Nation boat to the Oasis. Literally, let's go hunt the Avatar. Let's go hunt the Avatar. Um, but they are going to be doing something. Can't remember if they uh, said it from the last episode. I probably missed it, but we'll probably get more context Tomaki. in here. Um, this episode will probably be, like, some chill I don't, obviously, they're not going to get there right in this episode unless there's some sort of skip or whatever. But this could be like kind of like a fun little interesting, hopefully not a episode one kind of interesting. That's all I'm saying. Still, I'm, uh, I've am i been thinking about it a little bit. I really don't know if she'll go with the Fire Force in the end run. I, I really don't know. I think I think my, my theory of her going to the White Clad no matter what was true. Whether it be the fire force, fire takes force her and, and then, then she goes, or she just goes. To be honest, I mean, once I mm. saw, once I saw her kill her friend and like her image. That's her, the part where I fucking hated of, her. Of her going into the uniform of the white clan. Yeah, I was like, she no, that's it. Like, she's, she's gone, white clan. and she's not. I don't think she's savable anymore. She's just not. No, she's not savable. I don't think she in cares. my opinion, ever since she killed her friend, it's like no, fuck you. Yeah, that's, that's but, done. We're gonna see if they're maybe gonna show any scenes with her, maybe more with the clad, but. We're going to see right in this episode. Also, by the time you're seeing this right now, the giveaway is officially live in the Discord. So if you guys want to win a chance to get a Heroes Rising digital copy, definitely join the giveaway in the link in the description in the Discord. So you guys better sign up now because people, I assume, have already signed up by now. And I know definitely with Heroes Rising coming out in two weeks... You guys are going to probably want to get your hands on that. But in the meantime, we are going to get right into the episode. If you guys are new to the channel and you guys like our reaction, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And if you guys want to get notified on when we release videos, definitely smash the notification bell. If you guys want to check out our merch and Discord, links in the description. With that being said, let's get right back into Fire Force. That's who a the, lot of shit there. Like, just quick thing to just go off. Was that his mom? 
I, don't, I really don't know who don't, the hell that could be. Unless it's a character we have yet to see. I think it's someone we haven't met yet. Because I remember what his mom sounded like. His mom had like a higher pitched voice. That's what I was thinking. So I don't think it's his mom. That shit came out of nowhere. I think it's someone we haven't met yet. But overall, what we've seen in this episode, damn. So that clearly explains on why uh, for Vulcan's love for animals and just... At least it's just a theory. We don't know yet. Yeah. My theory is that Vulcan's family originally came from this town. Mm Mm-hmm. And then, you know, they built this first one, and then they then built the second one in the main city of Japan. It just reminds me because, like, this is probably the most amount of life that we've seen in this show. Right. Kind of what Vulcan showed Arthur, Iris, and Shinra, what they showed him back over there. It's like, this is what it kind of almost looks like. Mm -hmm. Because they have never seen most of this life before. They didn't even know there was, like, that many, this many fucking animals. Right. And let alone talking. Right. I still want to know that that about that as well. Um, it's probably because of the Adolas. Like, or know. the Great Cataclysm, too. Yeah, that too. Um, but interesting episode. Um, I really don't know the reason why Juggernaut kind of switches, because I did see him at the end switch to his like regular voice other than like his country kind of voice. Mm. Unless, I don't know, if he has to be around certain stuff or be around his family. I have no idea. But, um, yeah, the, ga- the gas shit... I didn't really, because I didn't see it, so I'm like, I'm wondering why the fuck they're acting well, they, like that. Well, they said it. They are like, careful, there's, like, gas. And the chief was like, gas? What kind of gas? And then Victor was like, um, you know, I guess they wanted, you know, the euphoric gas or whatever. Was, oh, okay. You know, they didn't want to wear masks. I guess they wanted it to, you know, happen to them. Hmm. All right. Because he was the only one wearing a mask because he was like, I don't yeah. want this. <laughs> I want to be clear-headed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Uh, but I... <laughs> what, what, what's the, the next one? I know we're going into eight. Uh, smoldering mellow violence. Uh, but overall, this episode was really interesting. Cool to see some new interesting characters. I stated in here that I wish the crows would have talked like the ones in Demon Slayer. Because those crows made that fucking show. They were probably one of the best things from that show. Then again, I'm happy it's unique to Demon Slayer. I didn't want that to... Oh, yeah. No, I, they, they couldn't have taken it from that. But, yeah, really interesting. Can I wait to see what happens next episode? And we will be definitely getting into it next. Thank you guys for watching our reaction. If you guys liked it and our channel, like, subscribe. Comment down below. And if you guys want to get notified on when we release videos, definitely smash the notification bell. And as always, I am OMZ. That is Schmitty, and we are out.